channel. It's me, Lasagna with Miss Dolls Handmade Creations, and today we're here for another drill with me. And I am so excited. I think I like this view a little better. I'm just prepping my pen. Y'all remember I got my, um, if y'all have seen the video already, my, <laughs> you may not have seen the video, but um, my uh, Everlasting Tips. And I showed y'all how to put them on. So I am very excited about this. I won't have any issues anymore. I have to worry about the drill itself. Oh, I love these tips. All right, so I'm just filling it up. Have I ever showed y'all that? I don't know. Just filling up my pen. Today, I got an extra day off. Um... It is the um, Hurricane Zeta. It's coming through. So they closed the schools down. They're doing, everybody has to do digital learning. And I'm taking the opportunity to <laughs> work on my canvas. Yes. It is early in the morning. Y'all know I'm used to getting up early. And I said, you know what? Let me go in there. I'm going to see if I can get a different angle, and I think I like this one a lot better. Y'all are able to actually see the um, canvas I'm working on. So I'll be out here all day. I should be, um, I got a piece of something on, on here. Um, I should be cleaning, but you know how we do. We take every opportunity to crawl. It's like a piece of, I don't know what this is, but it was underneath my little cover but I can see it because it's covering up the letter and I can't get it off let me see if I can get it with my finger come on there you go jeez it didn't want to come off put those sharp scissors over there so what are y'all doing today? I got my coffee and I'm like, yes, feeling great. The only thing that is wrong today, this morning, is the cable is out. At least I have power. I know my coworker called me and told me he didn't have power. Mm. Mm. The coffee. I'm trying not to put the coffee over here by my laptop. But I need it next to me. I gotta have it. All right, so first letter we're going to do today. I'm going to put this phone down here. There we go. I just hope I don't drop drills inside. <laughs> inside the, the uh, canvas. All right, so I think we're going to work on the one that looks like an hourglass. And that is number 34. Seems like I've been using that one first. That marks the start of my new section. I don't know why. It's just, that's what I've been doing. 34, and that is a brown. 34, there, it's a brown color. I'm so excited. So excited, what time is it? Okay, yeah. I have to keep track of when I start so I can put it on my gym flow. I am so excited. Okay, babies, I need y'all to get in there, and we're going to do good today. I was like, you know what? Let's spend some time with my people. That's that one. And I finally got it. I'm thinking what well, the camera won't move. It kept moving because I had to, you know, the little snake part. You had to move around to get it just where I want it to be in close right there. So... And the ease, guys. Oh my gosh. I am absolutely loving Everlasting Tips. It just, they're, um, I guess because they're metal, it does make a difference when you're putting them on the canvas. Oh, I wasn't looking. <laughs> I thought I was looking and wasn't looking. Okay, all right, because I just filled it, so of course that little glue is going to, the um, glue is going to try, not glue, whatever it is called, wax, is uh, coming out. I thought I was going to come in here last night, 
because when they told us we were off the next day, you know, everybody in the, in the, in the office gets very excited. I sent a instant message to my boss saying, you know, we're going to be off tomorrow. She didn't respond. And then another coworker went in there and asked her in person. And she said she was going to respond to my comment, you know, laughing. Because she thought I was playing. And that's because she didn't get any kind of message. I got a, uh, I was the first one in the office to get the, uh, the little text message when Tran was in, uh, you know, going to the school. And, uh. Oh, look at that wax. And um, so they haven't taken me off. So I get that immediately. Let me know when she was supposed to go to school. And so I was telling everybody else. And they was like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know, everybody gets excited when you get a day <laughs> So. Oh, I just thought of something. They make us do um, digital stuff at home. You know, to make up for your hours. And uh, my cape, my internet's out. I can't do it. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't I sound so sad? Hey. Can you help that? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I want it back on for the TV, but listen, I'm good. Um, So she came in there and she said, Dah, you for real? I'm like, yeah. So then somebody else got the... uh message and then i got the, the phone call because first you get a text then you get a phone call then you get an email that's the order i've been getting it when they notify you and uh somebody else started getting i had already got the text and then the phone call had already come and then somebody else got their phone call and um uh, that's when she walked in and she's like let me hear it let me hear it she didn't even get the email yet now she the boss now they didn't even get her the information yet <laughs> oh lord that was hilarious so some people I'm um, keep getting the wax guys because remember I just filled it up but once you get the drilling it will uh, stop getting on there but um, I absolutely love it now you don't have to. I know some people have, uh, you know, they don't want to use multi-placers and all of that. It's not hard. You just have to keep practicing. Or just use your one placer, like I'm doing right now. Sometimes I get tired of using the, because, you know, you got to think a little harder when you're doing the multi-placer. Lining it up and all of that. And a good key is to keep your drills closer to your to your canvas then you won't have far to go I like it flat on the table so I won't accidentally drop them all on the floor I've been lucky enough not to do that but I like to use the multi-placer now my favorite um, um, position when using the multi-placer I like to go straight up and down. It's easier for me, see how I have it sideways, to do it this way than turning it and doing it left to right. It's easier to place for me. But it seems like majority are the ones from left to right that I'm having to do. Like this one here, left to right. So I try to make sure I'm lining it up on that first circle, the little dummy circles we got on the canvas. That's what those are called when your symbols are outlined. Okay, so y'all didn't want to come off. Okay. So, I have the three drills on there. Can y'all see that? Now, I'm just going to line it up over the first circle and the other will fall in place. See? Love it! just takes a little bit more concentration for me some people can you know they've been doing it working with multi a lot longer than I have and uh, have no problem they'd be whipping through I knew that was off but I wanted to go and stick it down I saw on that side 
but it goes by faster when you're working on a section. And y'all remember my um, covers that I have. I love the section off size. That is a nice size to be working on. Instead of big or tiny, you know, that's a nice section. Mm. To feel like I, you know, you really accomplished something. <laughs> well, it's actually anything you work on on a canvas, you have accomplished something, honey. Oh, my voice. So, I don't have a TV, but my cell phone when I want to, um, you know, when I'm done recording with y'all, I can watch. Got my cell phone charging now. I forgot to charge it last night. And that's one thing they said to do, you know, because Zeta might come through and your power will be out. And I forgot. But I got this. Apple Watch charge though, don't I? <laughs> like that's gonna do something for me. All right. Yes. I'm loving it. And it seems like when I'm using, it don't seem like, I, I think it does for, for me. Um, I can see a lot clearer. I mean, sometimes I still may lose a image or two when I'm in here but it seems like I can see it more clear and less going back to the same color now look at this part right here I have four on there and now I'm going to go up and down this is much easier to me to line up boom y'all see that I hope this is close enough for you so I try to do those when I see them of that symbol up and down it's faster and the angle I can see on the side if I'm lined up that's why I like to do you know up and down better and that one did great but it goes by faster you know get a big canvas because remember this is a big canvas canvas and uh, to get the sections done it's not a race but to feel really accomplished to me I mean I'm still putting down each drill so I know some woman said that and I'm like what you still putting them down but she's like oh I'll make you do one, one at a time oh, okay <laughs> oh my gosh So, oh, let me tell y'all this story. Oh my goodness. I am so, I have the best boss in the world. I'm going to tell y'all that now. So, I have been trying to do the early voting. And by the time I get off work, y'all know my hours. When I am get off work, I try to fly over to an area that they have an early voting and the line is wrapped around the building and then they want to close at you know seven o'clock i'm like lord have mercy because by the time i get on my side of town from work it's around the area that i went was around about six o'clock they close at seven so i have been trying to get to one and um the line is wrapped around the building where i know it's not it's going to be longer than an hour standing there so I'll be like, God dang it. So, of course, you know, I talk to my boss about things and um, telling her about my situation. And uh, she asked me, she said, do you want to go? Go on and go, you know. And I'm like, right now? She's like, yeah, I'm at work. And she's like, I was like right now? She's like, girl, yeah, this is important. I said, oh, <laughs> yes. So I took off. <laughs> so when I oh this is not together up there so when I went to the one in the county now I didn't understand it but hmm, I went um, to the one that's in the county y'all remember I moved so I'm in a different county so I went to the one that was in my old county 
I get in a pull up, I don't see anybody in line, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. When I walk through the door, there's only like four people standing on those little things that separate you, you know, six feet. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. So I get up there to the lady where you're supposed to give me a license. And she's having a hard time finding my last name. And she said, do you have any other names? I said, what you mean? Uh, that, that's my name right there. Uh, that's on the license. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay. Now, you know, I, I, I get real irritated when people ask me crazy stuff. So she says, um, well, I can't find your name. And she said, so I'm, I'm calling someone over to help. And the lady comes over and she's looking and then she said, oh, did you move to this county or are you moving from that county? I said, I moved to that county. She said, oh, you got to go to that county. I said, they said you can go anywhere. Why are you telling me to go somewhere else? And she said, you can go anywhere in your county. I didn't know that. Maybe some of y'all didn't know that. And um, I don't know if they do the same things in different states, but I did not know that. I thought, you you know, if it's early voting, you can vote anywhere as long as you got a Georgia ID, you know, that you live here. So, ooh, I think we finished with that color. See how fast that went? So, um, I was mad, of course, but because it was so quick and I was right around the corner from the job. So then um, she said, you will have to go there. And the way she gave me my license back, that ticked me off even more. It was like, you know, like hurry up and get this and get out the line. That's the way she did. Oh, ho, ho. I stood there and stared her down. She knew. And I had my mask on. I got that in them eyes that, you know, you can tell what I'm saying. And uh, she just kind of looked and I snatched it and walked very slow away to let her know I was, you, you're not going to do me like that. So I went up to the thing and I said, hey. How you get out of here, honey? I need to get out of here because they have it blocked off. They want you to go a certain way. I said, I'm not going that way. I need to get out of here. Ma'am, come behind me. Come behind me, my chair, because she can see my face. I was livid. So I had on one of those long dresses that um, I love, those long flowy dresses that you can wear on the beach kind of thing, walking without shoes on. I love that. So I had on one, one of those. Mind you, yesterday it was raining. I was so <laughs> angry. I'm walking, my dress just dragging all in the water, puddles. <laughs> that, you know, that infuriated me even more. But, so I was like, God dang it, you know, walking. So I get to my truck, get asked Siri to find the location of the one in my county. And uh, she found the tag office, which I thought it was it. All right, so now we switch into the letter F, which is number 23779. Let's get these these right here done. And she uh, sent me to the tag office. So I knew what the tag office was because y'all remember, or uh, I might not have told y'all that I tried to get my tag. But anyway, for my birth for my birthday. Um, so I drove there. You know, I floored it because I didn't want to be gone too long. Even though my boss is an awesome boss, she she doesn't care. She if you come and do your work, your job every day, and you're not out, and you know you all this extra you're doing you get stuff done you don't cause a problem those are the type of employees you want you can depend on them so she know that i'm going to do what i need to do so um i floor it even though i know i ain't got to rush down i mean that's probably from my job to my side of town and then past where i turn to go home probably about a 30 35 minute drive <laughs> and I was rolling guys so when I pulled up to the tag off I still turned in and I was like well maybe there's another building in here because this is where Siri is taking me so I go and I said no that ain't it so I looked up the address that it said it was going to and then I told Siri the address it was right down the street not even on a mile guys so I was like yes so I turned in 
and I saw a line and I was like, oh Lord, please, you know. I parked, got out. By the time I got out of my car and got down there, it was a shorter line. They were moving very fast. So I get in. <laughs> Y'all, they had those things on the floor six feet. And I was prepared. You know how I am. I was prepared for somebody to say something. I don't draw way over here. So I get up there and a nice young lady, she was like, do you live at such and such? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, okay, just sign right. I was like, yes. I was already registered in my county. So they already had me in the system. I was like, yes. It was quick. While I'm standing there at the voting table, whatever you call it, the booth, I'm reading, you know, everything, and it was some stuff on there I didn't know that was going to be on there. So I was reading, and this one lady comes up. I guess it's one of the workers there. It had to be. She starts yelling, hey, Tommy, this and that. Uh, oh, y'all. Y'all know I was like, what? I jumped up and looked at her, put my hand to my ear like, girl, you're too loud. I'm trying to read. You shouldn't be doing that at no voting booth. People are trying to concentrate and you yelling like that across the thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like, that, that's just common sense. Why are you doing that? I said, no, you, you're not going to stop me from doing my vote. You need to stop. But she was very apologetic, you know, said, thank you. Thank you. You know, I finished what I was doing. And then you print, you know, you um, print out your ballot and then you have to stick it in this machine. <laughs> So they could already tell I was already someone that don't mess with me about my ballot. So I um, go stick my ballot in the little machine and it spits it back out. Y'all know I went off. I said, what is the problem? Right there, the lady was like, calm down, calm down. It does that sometime. I said, really? It does it sometimes? Sometimes it does it. <laughs> she said, ma'am, it's not, it's not tampering with your ballot. It, it does it sometimes. Just take it out and redo it. And I said, okay. But you know how society has played that ballots are not going to be counted and all of that. So I was already on alert, guys. I was already on alert that nothing was going to go wrong with my vote. My vote counts. I matter. I posted a Facebook page, a Facebook picture saying that, guys. If y'all are in my Facebook, y'all know y'all seen it. But, um, one lady told me, she said, when I was walking out, she said, I totally understand. I totally understand. I'll do the same thing. I said, oh, yeah. I don't want no problem. Miss one right there. Ain't that weird, guys? You sit here and you're doing it and you're like, oh, I've got them all. I miss one of the ones that look like an hourglass right there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that was my story. My voting experience. That was hilarious, though. I came back to the office at tell everybody, he like, dog, you are crazy. I said, yeah, I am. But I just want you to know I matter. You're not going to mistreat me now. I've always been told you treat people the way you want to be treated. And if I don't disrespect you, you don't disrespect me. And everybody at work know that, too. I love you. I love you. I love you. But if you do the wrong thing, it's going to be a problem. Even the big wigs know that. I will go off. I don't care. I always tell everybody, why are y'all scared of them? They just your boss. Why are you scared? You shouldn't be scared of the human. I said, if you're scared, the only person you need to be scared of is the Lord. They can't do nothing to you if you're doing what you're supposed to do. So they're like, you right, you right, and yes. Uh -uh -uh. Please. They're your boss. I give them the respect because they're my bosses, but don't. Come in here and think you're going to do something out of you. And you uh, that's not boss like. And think I can't act the way I want to act. So I tell them that all the time. Don't be scared. Don't disrespect them because they are your boss. But for an example, if somebody come in your office and they yelling at you like they crazy. And that's your boss. Uh, so we finna have a yelling match. Is that what we doing right now? Because if you can yell at me, I can yell at you. I'm a grown ass woman. I'm not a child. 
So we finna do yelling today. Is that what we finna do? And I warn her. Shoot, sure, I'll say that just like that. Oh, so we finna yell today? Is that what we doing? That's how we gonna communicate? And then, see if they change. If they don't, then I'll start yelling. Shit. <laughs> Y'all like, dog, you crazy. Yes, I am. My husband says it all the time. I said, but I love you, though. I love you. Even my, my coworker, I tell him all the time. Like, I'm in the process of making them something and... And some of y'all, too. Some of y'all, too. Making some stuff for Happy Mail. And, uh, you know, because I appreciate them. I appreciate our our familyhood that we have in the office. Everybody's, you know, I love when we come, come together and do things as a group. It makes you want to go to work. I told my boss that the other day, too. I said, you can't have where people can't laugh and socialize and all of that. You can't have it like that. Because if you do, it's going to bring down the morale. People going to feel like they're being slave driven. You know, because you can't even communicate or laugh. No. And she totally agrees. You got to. You got to have like a family bond. A work family bond. To make it work. Ooh, it's a lot of F's, guys. I'm trying to see if I can do some multi-placing, but it looks like it's majority. There's one. Yes. Majority of one here, one there, you know. That's what that confetti, when they say confetti, you see all these different colors in this? That's what they mean by confetti. You're doing a lot of uh, color changes. And I'm waiting to see what they got this Saturday. Y'all doing that Diamond Art Club, which that's all I've been ordering right now. Because <laughs> I love the quality. You, you, you don't have any problems with their quality of um, drills or canvas. So I've been ordering um, ones and they do it every Saturday. They have something new. And if y'all know. I've posted it before. I'm at diamond. I'm at a uh, diamond status, which is the highest status you can have on Diamond Art Club, and that's because how much you spend. Every time you spend, it adds points. So when you get to diamond or ruby status, ruby is before diamond. It'll um, allow you to have 30 minute access before everybody else. So when the new releases come out, they send you an email, and the email gives you access to the new canvases. And uh, there's other couple of other perks that they make do a sale or something like that. It says it on the website. If y'all go to that website, DAC.com, DiamondArtClub.com. And um, so when they did this last one, I was like, oh, my gosh, I saw two. And I was like, oh, there's one more I'm thinking about. The only thing I'm hesitant about is the size. Oh. I think it's just a little bit too big. It's a beautiful, cute, beautiful colors of Minion. My husband loves a Minion. He has started putting his Minions in my display case. I'm like, this is this is mine. Why are you putting your stuff in here? That's my Minion. He don't want me to move his Minions. So, thinking of him, and I'm like, uh oh. It's just a little bit too big. Y'all check it out. It is cute. It is so cute. And I haven't seen anyone do a Minion uh, DP that's like that. It's very nice. And, uh, but it's just so huge. I just saw, I saw someone do an unboxing. I was like, oh. Because you know they send out to, a, you know, YouTubers that are f affiliated with them. They send it out early so they can do it the day before. They can do an unboxing so that you can actually see what it looks like um, instead of just on the screen when you're ordering. Actually see it unboxed, see it the size on the table and stuff like that. Like, like I, when I do my unboxing, you're able to see it. And uh, I, I, just, uh, I just can't get over that size of it. But he'll be okay if, he don't, if I don't get it. I asked him to. I sent him a picture of it. I'm like, babe, look at this. He was like, wow, what? How much is that? And I said, don't worry about no 
How much is that? You can't tell them that, guys. <laughs> Don't tell them that, right? That's the first thing out of my husband's mouth. No matter what I say I want to get. Well, how much that go? He just worried. Be quiet. If I'm asking you, why are you worried about it? That's just how he does. But, um, so I, I said, I don't worry about the price. And then the size is what is just, mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. He wants to convert the old shed that's in the back when we moved here. Somebody was living in the shed, so they had put power to it. And um, there's no bathroom, nothing in there. I don't know how they did that, but. <laughs> so um, now he wants to redo that one since I'm out here all the time. He's like, I want to be a man cave. That he can work on his cars. Put one of those aluminum um, aluminum roof things so he can work on it underneath it if it's raining or whatever. Mm. But that's going to take a lot of work because. I mean, it's he really he needs to gut it and then, um, you know, put more stuff in there. It's, it, he's got to do a lot of work in there. It's really like a trash thing. That's what I told him. Any more F's? Do y'all see any F's? I do not. But you know how that is. But I'm going to go back to this one so I won't miss it. The, um, what was it? The hourglass. Since I see it, I know where it is. I'm going to go ahead and take one out and put it on there. And I've noticed I'm doing that less than when I, um, when I'm without the light pad. So that is awesome. I'm absolutely loving the angle because it keeps my neck and everything in line. I don't have a bad headaches and stuff when I'm done for the evening, you know. Yeah, there we go. See, just one. What are we doing next? Let's do... Let's escape this area for a minute. Let's do... Oh, I see some of the ABs. Let's work on... I like to fill in with ABs, so let's not do that one. Let's do this one. It looks like a little... It was a Tetris, Tetris symbol. <laughs> we'll say that. Looks like that. Number 38, 3818, this beautiful green. And I'm hoping with this canvas, I have enough of my ABs to finish, you know, in the water that I got. If not, I'll order more. I just know how long it'll take, you know, for me to get the other part. But ain't no big deal. I was going to put in another order and uh, decided to wait because I really need to know what project I'm going to work on next. I don't know when. I did see that one of my, um, one of my, uh, what is it called? It's not called back order. What do they call it? Um, Pre-order. I did see that one of my pre-orders that I had, what color are we doing? We're doing that. Okay. Cause I see this over here, this L, I'm like, oh Lord. See the L in that is kind of like the same yellow. So you have to be careful with that. But anyway, just pay attention guys. Um, when you're doing your DP. So I did see that one of my pre-orders, it changed to fulfilled and I'm like, yes, I get one. But I still have two other pre-orders that still haven't shipped. It's been a minute too. I know they did say something about um, shipping. Something's going on with shipping. So some stuff may take longer, which is fine. Y'all know I got plenty too. I'm, I'm not going to be done with all these canvases I have in here. Come on now. That's not no big deal. That'll be a surprise one day. Oh my goodness, yes. So, but there is one that I got for my, um, one of my coworkers I'm going to do for her. She doesn't know it, and uh, I know that's going to be next, and uh, y'all will see that reveal video, uh, unboxing video, and know which one I'm referring to. 
Because I know this video is up before for that. Ooh, I haven't worked on that color. Ooh, yay. Let's get to that one. And uh, so I know I'm going to need some reds and all that. And so I might just reorder the same colors I've been using for the water. was actually just two colors. And have, you know, just have extra just in case. I do run <clears throat> short on the first bag. Even though it says 1200, uh, you know, when you look at this canvas, you when you visualize 1200, you don't think, uh, there ain't no 1200 dots. Yeah, it could be 1200 dots on here <laughs> that's taken up for those uh, drills. So I will have to place another order. And even if I did not um, run out, I need to replenish so I can have it. Because I know um, he uses water a lot in his canvases. And there is one that I want that's still um, out of stock. Is the, uh, I think it's the Treasures of the Great Outdoors. And I love the man's out there fly fishing. There's turkeys everywhere. The cabin on the side. He And there's a waterfall. He's standing in the river. And uh, it's just it's just beautiful. And so I know those colors will be used in that as well. Because I know I want to try to make sure when I hang them all up, the colors are kind of flowing together, you know, in my house. The same colors. I might tweak it just a little bit with a different blue if I see that uh, I wanted a different shade. But really? So. You want to be stubborn, don't want to get on there today. Now, see how much easier it is for me? But y'all have to do your own, you know, figure out which way is best for you. I'm trying to make sure that these L's are all L's and not that symbol I just did, like this one over here. But it's very relaxing. Very, oh, you moved. At the end of my, when I complete an entire one, why does it look so spacey? Um, when I complete the entire one, I'm going back looking over here. Um, I roll over with my, my brayer. And then sometimes I'll use my straightener to go down the lines, you know, like this, and then do the brayer. What is going on? I feel like they're shifting. Yeah, they ain't moving. That's just me. That's, that's just me. <laughs> So have y'all started Christmas shopping? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know I have. Everybody at work even know that. They be like, dog, you doing your Christmas shopping? Yeah. Yes, I ordered my um, food from the lady I order from every year. I was just thinking about her and checked my email. Joni Arch Archman is her name. And uh, one day I saw her... Um, when I used to drive the school bus, one day I saw her in the bus lanes and I, you know, I was a team leader. So I was like, hey, well, you can't park right there. My bus is pulling in. And she's like, it's only going to take me five minutes. I got to run this food in. I said, what food? And she said, I make food for the schools. They order for me. And and I, that scent when she opened her back door, her, uh, get her lift from her van, she opened it. And I said, ooh, what, what is that? And uh, I smelt those turkeys. She has won awards for her cooking. And she does the, um, um, she marinates the turkeys for 24 hours and all of that. And then it's fried turkey. Oh my gosh. Very nice. Very nice. So she let me taste and I was hooked. She gave me her information. I called in my order the same day. So she would know. So every year, she sends it by email, the order form. I fill it out and I send it right back to her through email. And she confirms when she receives it. And uh, one year, it was so funny. One year, I forgot. And she sent me a thing. Because she knows I want her turkey. And uh, that's not the only thing I get from her. She cooks other things as well. Um, I get, um, she does it by quarts. She has sausage and jambalaya. And she always has rice. She puts the rice in a separate baggie. And uh, 
I get two quarts of that and then her gumbo. Oh my gosh. I get three quarts of her gumbo. I always say, I'm going to put one of these in the freezer so I can have it when it's, you know, off season. Puh. And it's never, it's never, I never keep it in there long. Ah. The first day I get it, um, we usually pick it up. I think it's normally on a Wednesday, like a day before Thanksgiving. It's her pickup day. Everybody be, uh, meets at one place. She gets there and everybody shows up there and um, you pay her when you pick it up. So, um, I never, it never stays. That same day we get it, I got to eat that for dinner, the gumbo. One quart is gone. Me and my, <laughs> and my children when they're here, it's gone. So, I said I was going to order another one, but I said, you know what, I'm still going to order three. She does it for Thanksgiving and Christmas. But I love that she knows that I, if I miss something, she will, um, if I don't respond to her email, she'll call me. Because she knows I want her, her stuff. So we get that. I get three quarts of the gumbo, sausage, chicken and sausage gumbo. And um, you get three quarts of that. And then I get the brownies. Oh, my gosh. Those brownies are off the chain. They just melt in your mouth. So they're two for a dollar, and I get 30. 30, guys. Now, my husband will be eating those when we're on the way back home. He, he I mean, I'm like, babe, stop. <laughs> stop eating them. But he, they're, they just melt in your mouth. This woman's cooking is amazing. So, um, when I get the email, I'll pass it around to the people I know when I turn them on to it. I've been doing this for several years um, now. It's got to be over 10 years that I've been ordering from her now. And uh, so that's, you know, that's why she knows. If I ain't called her or sent that email, I didn't see it. And she will call me and be like, dog? <laughs> I'm like, girl! And she said, just tell me over the phone what, what you're getting. And I'll tell her. But um, it is mouth-watering, and I love it. So I passed the, the letter out to everybody that orders before because they've been doing it. I think I turned them on to it when I became, um, when I got off the bus and I became a, a, a dispatcher inside the office now. And uh, they went that first year. I, and it just so happened I met them at the same time because she only does it from you know this time to this time to be there but we came at the exact same time boy they they do it every year now so those are the ones I give the paperwork to and uh, they said the same thing when they got their turkey they start eating a little bit of it they said they couldn't stop eating it all the way home I'm like yes for Thanksgiving you already eat the turkey <laughs> it is that good guys so I am so excited. I've already started doing that. So the only other things I need to do is, uh, of course, start thinking about what we're going to prepare. Now, y'all know I do not cook. I'm not a cooker. My mama ne never taught me how to cook. She taught me how to make spaghetti. And she taught me how to make um, chicken and rice, which my husband says I'm not doing it right. But it don't matter. Whatever I'm cooking, I'm not doing it right. Now, they do love my crock pot meal because everything goes in the crock pot. It is delicious. I love doing um, cabbage soup in there. Now, they don't eat. Only me and Trinity will eat that. But the taco soup, oh, now they love the taco soup. We all love taco soup, and that's in the crock pot. But um, but I, did, I learned recently how to cook collard greens the proper way. Now, before, my collard greens was just, you know, well, okay. But then and I learned how to put a, what is it called? A, is it hawk mop or something? I don't know what the name of it is. It's that bone with that meat on it. When I put that in there that first year I did that, oh my gosh, my whole family was like, oh, these are the best green. That's what it was missing this whole time. So I do know how to do that. Now, my dressing is hit or miss. Last year, it was a miss. <laughs> Last year, it was a miss. And so I know this year my, my children and my husband are going to tell me not to touch the dressing. They're going to do the dressing. I know that. Now, the year before that, 
It was good. So I don't understand. I thought I did the same thing, guys. Listen, it's not my dream to become a chef. I do not want to cook. I don't want to. So, no, I don't need no recipes. If y'all want to start telling me that, Tim had no, 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 no. I'm good. I am good. All right, we're going to switch to L, number 31, 938. These are these L's here. Trying to get that yellow. Trying to get that yellow feel out of it. And I think we're going to call it a done for today. We've been on here a long time today. We had a lot to talk about. But I hope y'all are getting ready and prepared for Thanksgiving. It's going to be here before you know it. Yeah, when we're running around looking for stuff. And I'm thinking about getting my, my hog mount early. Last year, I had to run around and try to find it. And I did not like that. Normally, I just go in the store and they're on the shelf. And they're in plastic. So, you know, um, Thanksgiving, it'll be okay if I put it in the refrigerator. To see. Or, I know, I just don't want to get too close to Thanksgiving. Because then it'll be gone. And be running around looking for it. I don't want to do that. Everything else will be there. As long as I try to get there before everybody else. You won't get too early. Oh, these L's are going down nicely. And that's another thing, guys. When you are using your multiplacer and you have drills above and below and you're filling in, they go in a lot better. Because your lead, that spot is open for them. So y'all see how these I'm doing the three sides and I got some on top and some on bottom. So that's it goes in a lot better. Love it, love it, love it. Come on now. Look at that. Yes. Absolutely love it. So y'all let me know what you think, guys. I think I love this view a lot better. When I get over to here, y'all be able to see this one even, even better. So I think I'm loving this. I'm going to continue on. And I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your week. This little surprise here, which y'all won't see till Monday anyway, but after the fact. But I like to release them on Mondays. Y'all let me know what you think. Have y'all started on a canvas? How far have you gotten on your whip? Here we go. Let's do one like this. Yes. Yes. Love it. So until next time, guys. Oh, I hear the rain coming. It's beating down on my roof. All right. All right everybody that may be in the uh, path of Zeta. I wish you safety, blessings, and make sure you pay an attention. Have your emergency go bags and your bags packed just in case y'all have to evacuate, guys. But I'm praying for you. And uh, we just supposed to have, like, the wind and a little rain. And then later on tonight, it's going to be gone. That's what they're saying for Georgia. So be safe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.